You know, Harry Houdini used to issue these statements saying, I can break out of any prison in the entire world. One day this small town jail decided to take him up on his offer and so the day came where Houdini came in and he was ushered into the jail cell and those iron bars closed behind him. Well Houdini did as he always did and first thing he took off his jacket and then the second thing he took off his belt and inside of that belt was a 10 inch piece of steel, flexible steel, that he would always use to pick locks. So Houdini reaches through the bars and he begins fiddling with the lock trying to get it open and after about 10 minutes the face of confidence begins to melt away and is replaced with a bit of worry, a bit of frustration. 20 minutes in, Houdini is caked in sweat, trying to get this lock open. And after about two hours, bathed in sweat and overcome in defeat, Houdini collapses against the iron bars, which then slowly creak open. You see, the only place that those bars were actually locked was in the mind of the great escape artist Houdini. And so because the bars were locked in his mind, even the great Houdini was unable to escape their grip. Now I think a lot of us today are in a similar situation to our friend Harry Houdini. What is it in your life that you think is locked, that you can't see past? Maybe it's the relationship that you think will never come. Maybe it's the job that you think you'll never get. Maybe it's the financial situation that you think will never be relieved. Maybe it's the burden, the pain, the grief that you think can never be overcome. The book of Revelation tells us seven times to him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life. The Bible says that Jesus has already given us victory over death and over the grave and over the powers of hell and the powers of sin in your life. So just say yes to Jesus, yes to faith, yes to trust in God. God may not move the mountains that you want him to move, but he will always move the mountains that you need him to move. Stay connected to the will of God through prayer and fasting and study of his word. Look for his will above yours and you will find that many doors in your life that you think are locked are actually wide open. May God bless you today and always.